Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're looking to master contour lines in Flexi Designer versus Studio Edition, you've come to the right place. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, this tutorial will help you learn more about creating and working with contour lines. In today's video, we'll cover some essential tips and tricks to help you get the most out of Flexi Designer and VersaWorks. I'll also highlight common mistakes to avoid share often overlooked details that can make a big difference in your designs and provide you with some advanced designing tips to help you save time and money. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of contour lines and how to use them effectively in your designs. So let's get rolling and start creating amazing contour line designs with Flexi Designer. Okay, so starting off, we're in Flexi Designer versus Studio Edition. I've brought in a PNG file. If you look over here on the on the right, you'll see that it's three inches. So one thing that you should remember is when you're adding a cut contour line to a sticker, that you're actually increasing the size of that sticker. So once once you add a contour line, if you're if you're making one like a, a border, if you want a for instance like at this one, if we leave a white border on it. So if I go up to effects, contour cut, and then let's just say I put a 0 0.12 contour line on there. Okay, so now this sticker is no longer 3 inches uh, wide anymore. So now it's become... Now it's 3.24 inches. Okay, so it's three and a quarter inches now. So the problem that you're gonna run into though is if you resize this back down to three inches, then your contour cut isn't gonna be 0 0.2 inches from the edge anymore. It's actually gonna shrink. And the weird thing is I don't know why Flexi Designer uh, does this, but its contour line width that it gives you is incorrect. So I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to over exaggerate this um, contour line. I'm just going to put it at, at one inch. So I'll go back to the contour line and I'm going to put one. Okay. So now if I go over to my ruler on the on the left, okay, I click about right here on the on the contour line and I go all the way to the to my sticker. Okay, if you look over here on the right, right here, that's one inch. Okay. So now let me show you what happens. Now this sticker is five inches big because my my sticker is three inches and then plus the one inch to the left and the one inch to the right okay that's why it's making it five inches total so now watch what happens when i shrink it down to three inches okay so i clicked off i'm gonna click back on go over to the con to the contour it's still saying that your contour line distance this one here is one inch okay but if I go grab my ruler go from the sticker out to the contour line about right there you'll see that it's only 0 0.6 inches so when you click on it and you go over to look at the contour line it's not telling you the right contour distance so just keep that in mind when you're designing your stickers that once you put on that contour line if you're if you're leaving a border on the outside it's going to make it more than the three inches and then when you go to resize it thinking you'll just you know let me just shrink it down to three inches your contour line is not going to be that same size anymore so just keep keep that in mind so the reason that i wanted to bring this to your attention is because that little tiny distance that you're adding 
to your sticker, you may say, okay, well, it's not three inches, it's 3.12 inches. No big deal. But I'm gonna show you why it is a big deal. We're gonna go over into VersaWorks. And this sticker here that I have in A, I'm gonna open up this file here. Okay, this sticker is exactly two inches uh, wide. Okay, it's a two by two sticker. 0 0.12 inches, it's approximately three millimeters. So what I'm gonna do to my sticker is I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna add six millimeters to the size because I need three on the left, three millimeters on the left, three millimeters on the right. Okay, so I need to add six millimeters. So now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna change this to 56.84. Okay, let me go back to, I'm gonna go over to cut controls and hit print, that way you guys can see the. And for this sticker, I do have a border on it, a white, it'll be, it'll cut outside of the sticker and leave a border. All right, and so we'll show you that. So just to make, just so it's easier to see, I'm going to enlarge this to 300. and zoom in so you see that I have a, a border on it it's gonna print the sticker and then have a white border okay so I'll go back to when I added six millimeters to it So now usually I like to leave about 10 millimeters in between each sticker, especially if you're perf cutting. All right, so I'm just gonna type in, say 100 stickers, okay? Okay, you can see from here, 15 rows of stickers. Okay, almost somewhere around 960 millimeters, which is, uh, it's a little over three feet, okay? So that's what happens when you add your 0.12 inches to the outside and think that it doesn't matter, okay? So now let's go back to the sticker. I'm gonna make the sticker back to 100%, which is two inches. Drop this back down to one just to reset it. Keep the same 10 millimeter spacing you see down here. Okay, so now I'm gonna type in 100. Okay, so now let's count the rows that we have now. One, 13. So we got rid of two rows of material just by making it exactly two inches, not the 2.12. So when you think that the little to the measly 0 0.12 inches doesn't matter. Now you can see that it does because you're actually saving around five inches of material. So those five inches of material can be used at the end of your run for when you're doing uh, print, laminate, and cut, and you need those extra four or five inches at the end. You're saving that much for your laminate and cut. So right there, you're already saving five inches of material, not only in vinyl, but also five inches of material of, of laminate, which is more expensive than the vinyl. So by having your stickers exactly two inches, you can save time, money, and all that will add up if you're doing a lot of stickers. Those five inches are gonna save you a lot of money and the time that you save on printing will add up and it gives you time to do more jobs, um, gives you more time to design and you know other, any other kind of things that you need to do throughout your day.
the next thing that I wanted to show you over in Flexi Designer. Going to clear this uh, contour cut. So you notice on this sticker here, you don't have a very big outline on it. So if you wanted to to do a you know a a bleed on it, as some people call it, you're gonna have to cut into this very small outline that this smiley face has. So if you have a design like this and you don't want to sacrifice the border that you have on it. Let me show you a way in where you can actually do a, a bleed on it and conserve your, your outline, the, you know, the small outline that you already have on your sticker. So what I'm going to do is go up here. So click on your, your design, go up to effects and click on outline. Uh, 0 0.15 inches is fine. Um, it just take a look at, at my uh, my settings right here and just if they're the same then just leave them like that this the one important thing that you want to do is right here under color you want to click on transparent and then click the check button now go up to effects and separate the outline all right, your outline is still there if you just draw a square around it. It's right there. So now that you have your outline selected, go over to the dropper on the left and click on it and then click on your border color. So I'm going to click on the blue. And so now this outline becomes this color. So now all you have to do is center these together. Uh, shortcut is control five. And then so now click on your sticker, your actual design, go up to effects, to contour cut. And then now under contour cut, you can just put zero. And it'll cut right along that that border. Okay, click the check mark. Okay, and so that way you're not sacrificing some of your of your already small border. It'll overprint and then cut perf cut or contour cut on the inside. Okay, so that's a way that you can save your borders if you have a really small one to begin with. So now we'll take this design with the bleed over into VersaWorks and then I'll show you some things to look out for and some tips with this type of design specifically. So in VersaWorks, I have the file right here, Smiley with Bleed. So let's open that up. Now, just so we can see it better, I'm going to blow this up to 300%. Then, so then I'm, gonna, then I'm going to zoom in in between and let me maximize this okay so one thing I learned about these blue lines here the spacing the four millimeters that is the space in between these two blue lines here okay so now if you notice your cut line is over almost another four millimeters on the left and on the right. So that's almost a total of 12 millimeters. So remember I told you, I suggest that you do 10 millimeters. So in this case here, you can have the spacing at four millimeters because the actual cuts are further away than four millimeters. So when you're making your stickers, just take that into account that your cuts are actually farther apart than this spacing amount. One other thing that I wanted to bring up also 
If you watched my other video about missing contour lines when you import into VersaWorks, I went over editing the cues in VersaWorks and I made this cue called sticker mat and under EPS the margins here in the other video I said this was the distance from the design the distance that it, the that the software will look past the design well it's actually the distance that it looks past the cut line so you actually don't really need this so high you can have this set to 0 0.5 millimeters. Let me show you what happens with this 5 millimeters. It actually puts a border or a margin around your design of 5 millimeters. So let me show you how that affects your layout in VersaWorks. So I have this design in here as an EP, that's an EPS. Okay, let me go to layout. So if you take a look at this EPS file that I set a five millimeter margin on, you'll see that the distance between the edge, the blue line over here, or even on this end, is going to be five millimeters. So if I were to add another one, now they're separated by 10 millimeters. So I could actually have this spacing set to zero, and then I would have that 10 millimeter spacing in between. And then so now I could just add as many as I could fit across there while having a zero spacing. So you can either leave it at the five millimeters and then that will, if when dealing with EPS files, and then you can just have this spacing to zero, and you'll have your your 10 millimeters of spacing that I personally recommend, at least. Or you could always go back to the the Q settings. and change the margin there. Just change this to something smaller, 0 0.05, and then that way you won't have that automatic five millimeter spacing if you don't want, but that kind of makes it easier. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for this video. I uh, hope that helps you guys get a better understanding of the contour lines, uh, maybe address some issues that you might be having. As you saw, even the tiniest extra border that you add onto a sticker or decal can make a big difference when it comes to doing your layout in VersaWorks. It'll save you time. It'll save you money. If you like this video and found it helpful, like and subscribe. I've got another video coming out soon on perf cuts. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.